My name is Matt White and I'm the, uh, one of the owners here at Mastac Back Company. So when we first get our orders in, we look at the size and the model of the bat, and then we go in and we use nothing but 100% professional grade maple, um, usually about 22 to 26 inches of straight grain. We go in and select the right size weight billet for that specific bat, weigh it again after it's already been weighed once it comes in, then we take it and put it on the machine once we get it centered. Punch in the model, cut that model, once it's cut, we measure our ends and our knobs to be sure that we're at our measurements. And then we come back and we still press every one of our bats from youth all the way up to our Pro Series bats. We created Mastac Bat Company in March of 2020 we got started my oldest son was in the military and he was getting out and he had played college baseball at Pfeiffer University and he wanted to get into some independent baseball and had two shoulder surgeries and I had told him that you know hey man I think baseball might be over so let's get into making wood baseball bats Um, once that's done, it goes into the sanding process. In the sanding process, we take the bat and we usually start about 180, 120, work our way down to 220 with a polished finish. Um, we wind up cutting the ends off and then we weigh the bat at that point and redo our measurements on the end of our barrel and our, our handle. The name Mastac comes from a airborne operation. I was military for 23 years, served a lot with the 82nd Airborne, and it's a term that we use for a mass tactical airborne operation. Then we ink dot it, put our pro ink dot on there, Major League Baseball requires for maple. Um, once we do that, then the bat's taped off, whether it's all barrel, all handle, um, complete bat, and then it's painted to that color. All right, so what I'm doing right there is that's, that's our conditioner, our pre-stain. All of our bats are used, we only use stains or wood dyes, right? So I condition it, and then I'm gonna come in, and then I gotta ink dot it about 12 inches from the handle on the straight grain. So like that's the face grain, I mean on the face grain, and then this line like that's your straight grain. What makes our bats a little bit different is we use professional grade maple um, with all of our bats, from youth bats all the way up to our coaches' fungus. Um, we want to put out the best wood that we can. I think one of the things that makes our bats pretty top notch is our, our two coat poly finish that we do. Um, it's one of the hardest on the markets. These are bats that we cut this morning that's got to be painted. These are ready to be dipped. <clears throat> Once it's painted, it goes into our dry room where we have bats waiting that need to be painted 
or bats that are going to be dipped for the finish once the paint dries. Our dipping process, we use a two-part poly finish, which is probably one of the hardest on the markets right now. We're creating high, high, high exit velocities off of our bats. Once the bat sits, for after the first dip for 24 hours, we come back and dip it a second time and let that sit for 24 hours. And then it goes into our decal and engraving room. And that's when we put our little end decal on the knob and whatever color decals and stripe that the bat requires from that customer is what goes on. At that point, then it's programmed for the engraving. Our, our custom bats have custom engraving. Our Pro Series bats um, do not. They're standard engraving with our logo and bat model and size to them. Once that's done, it's painted, stripped, cleaned, and then it's ready to ship after that. Our bats right now run, our youth bats are $99.95, our fungos are $99.95, those are fully custom. Um, we have a fully custom custom Pro Series bat um, and they're running right now $149.95. We have a Pro Series bat ready to ship, usually ships next day unless it's a half size, um, and they're at $139.95. Um, our turnaround point right now with us, we try to get them out within five to eight business days, depending on how many colors and um, whether it's camouflage, pine tar, what it may be, um, but five to eight days. So we have our MT1, uh, medium barrel, slight taper. Um, it has a uh, thin handle, um, very, very balanced bat. Our G13 has a little bit bigger barrel, a little bit longer barrel, um, with a slight taper, um, medium handle, um, slightly inloaded, um, usually in about a drop to two and a half. Our MT5 has a big barrel, long taper, thin handle. Those are, those are pretty balanced, even with the bigger barrel on the end of them. Our MT10 is a, is a medium barrel, long taper, longer barrel bat with a thin handle and a slightly flared knob. Our K2 is a, is a, modification of the MT1. It is a medium barrel, slight taper, a little bit thicker handle with a completely flared knob. The, the B5 is a pro model off of our I-13. This is a, a custom bat uh, made for a young man that really, really, really swings a lot of them. It has a big barrel, long taper, uh, completely flared knob, um, and it's made off of our I-13 model which our 13 model is one of that our pro guys like to swing. The big barrel, a little bit thinner handle with your traditional knob. Our youth bats, um, drop five, can get them down to a drop eight, usually anywhere really from four to, you know, anywhere from four to six, six ounces there. Medium barrel, slight taper, thin handle, traditional knob bats, very balanced for our young guys. And then our coach's fungos, we make a 35 inch fungo, slim barrel, long, good taper to it, very balanced with a traditional handle. Right now we have them in, in store, Pro Series in shop, or they can come in and 
and order uh, fully custom, but we have a website, masstapback.com, that you can order and we ship all over the United States.